All right, guys, it's winners only. We're back with a special video today. Today, we got Ishan from the University of Texas. We're filming a video, how to train like a D1 tennis player. Tell us a little bit about your training background. I got to show us transformation pictures. You can see right now, it's a big guy. He came to UT and he was not like that. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, came to UT like, he was mentioning at 160, uh, and then I kind of fell in love with the gym and working out uh, my sophomore year, so I'm a fifth year now. Uh, gained about, I guess, 40 pounds over my college career, which has been really fun, but the whole training process is just so fun. I kind of fell in love with just working out, improving, seeing the physical result, but also helping mentally as well. So we're gonna run them through a, a, one of my workouts, but it's also a, a tennis athletic-based workout. So kind of lower body, a little explosive stuff, and a little strength-based. All right, we'll see if I can hang. It might be a tough day. It's gonna be a lot of legs, which I'm not excited about, but let's get right into it. Let's uh, start with some, some bike. Yeah, get a let's little do warm. It. Let's do it. So what are we starting with? All right, so I figure we're gonna get into a leg day warm up. Um, so I like to do a little bike to start, just to get the legs warm, heart rate up. Um, and then we're probably gonna go into a mobility routine and then we'll start lifting, so. How's the, how's the team looking this year? I think we'll be pretty good this year, dude. Um, so we final four last year, which was sweet. Yeah. We, we had a chance, we were the one seed going into the tournament, so we had a chance at winning it all, uh, which lost a tough one in the semis. But this year we, on paper, are stronger than last year. Okay. But kind of with the thing with teams though, is it's like, it's all about peaking at the right time, I feel like. Right. Um, Cause kind of even going into the tournament, I felt like we were a really, really good team but the other team just was peaking, playing a little better than us. And you need a, you need a little luck too to like end up winning the whole thing. So, so I think the team will be good. I'm excited, I'm excited. We're all older too. Think about like, what, maybe six of our guys are fifth years. Dang. Fifth years are seniors, so we're older. <laughs> so y'all y'all have won like the number one ranked guy and two, right? Mm -hmm. That's gotta be some fun stuff to watch and practice and play against. Like, yeah. Get better at playing those guys. Well, that's, that's the fun part, just like even, if you're not ranked or whatever, so you can come out and when you get into practice, you, you can get up for it always, you know? Yeah. You always want to push them and, and do that. So it's, it's pretty fun. So this is kind of our tennis, what we do as a team on it, kind of for warming up before matches, before practice and everything. And I, I really like it because it helps open up all the lower body areas, hips, okay. glutes, back, and uh, kind of gets you primed to lift as well. Sweet. So, so yeah, I'll start some knee hugs, just walking across real simple, just up, up to the chest. And kind of quad stretch here and then a little bit of a reach at the top. My balance is not very good. I know. <laughs> the balance is tougher than you think yeah. on these though. I, I kind of feel you. Uh, so we do heel pickups to kind of help for the, the glute and hip flexor area. I need to start stretching before I play tennis. Normally I'm like it's it's important, man. I'm coming serious. straight off of work and I just like show up to the court. And just, let's, and let's, just let's like, it up. the match is at four or five and I just like roll out of my car after sitting at a computer all day and just yeah. get to work. You go goose step here, so kind of straighten leg, slight bend and just lean down into it for the hamstring. So who is your favorite tennis player? Uh, that, 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 that one's an important question because I'm curious. Right now, Nick Kyrgios like got me into watching yeah. tennis. That Wimbledon run he went on is like when I started watching tennis. Fair. Uh, and then Ben Shelton, I love watching him Shelton's play. Shelton's dope. But of like the big three, like going back and watching him, I like Federer a lot. Federer. But I like Djokovic right, too. Yeah, I get like you. People hated on him for like this thing. And <laughs> I loved that. That, <laughs> that was, was sick. So dope. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you. All right, so we're going to go kind of this is to open up the back and T-spine area. So you're going to lunge into this, go down, and you're going to open towards your leg here. Okay. And then, so on the way back now, we're gonna open away from our, our leg now. So okay. we're going this way to start. These are typically a little harder when you open away from the leg. And then the last thing I like to do is kind of just open up the hips, grab you a mat. We do like shin box. Kind of the way you're gonna do this is you wanna set your legs kind of in this position. They, some, a lot of people do like what call it, what's called 90-90, so it's more like that. Okay. But I like to do it, I don't have that kind of hip mobility. I don't either. So I go here. And then the whole movement is you're just, you're gonna turn this way, it'll go here, and then reach up. Okay. So kind of just go slow through it. But it's just to help open up the like inner and outer hip areas. You wanna start with the barbell and go like single leg, kind of just squats like this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. Um, so I think we can start with like a warm up set here. Uh, so just kind of feel out the motion. We're gonna go 
Shoot for, for six reps each leg here. So you start here, just go to the split stance. And what kind of, I just focus on keeping my back straight, kind of tucking my hips a little bit um, to not feel the lower back pain. Okay. And then leaning into this right here, and then up. Kind of okay. every rep you want to do, try to be a, like explosive if you can, because you're just training, training to be a better tennis player. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. That's it. You got it. Yeah. A lot of the training is not always like focused on lifting super heavy for me at least. Like yeah. I, I find that when I'm training and playing a lot of tennis as well, if I'm lifting really heavy, I get really prone to injury. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll sometimes like not push all the way to the max weight wise, but push more rep wise. Okay. So sometimes you get that soreness, but it's also like, I feel like that helps me more. Yeah. At least stay relatively injury free. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, easy. Would you say you're the strongest guy on the team? Or... Uh, yeah, probably for like most exercises I'd say yeah. so. But it's interesting though. So maybe just pure strength, I think I probably got most of the team. Yeah. Well, some of the like athleticism Oops. ones, like if I do full work drills with them, they're gonna cook me. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. It's so interesting, my... Uh... So much easier off my left leg than right leg. Yeah. Do you feel like a slight imbalance, kind of? Yeah. And I just like basketball as a one foot jumper is always off the mm. left leg. Maybe that's, yeah, that could be <laughs> why. This is so interesting. Like the right leg was hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's actually, I, I, I'm happy you brought that up because I, I, that's why I've kind of transitioned to do a lot of like, maybe like more isometric like movements. Yeah. It's because you really realize where your strength's kind of lacking. Like right. rather just do like a, which I, I do do like just straight barbell back squats. Yeah. I don't always realize, because for me, my right leg's stronger than my left. Mm -hmm. So I don't always realize like when it gets heavy, instead of like just going evenly through both, I'm kind of like slightly this way because I know yeah. this one's stronger and pushing out. So that's, I feel you. That's so interesting, left foot. Yeah, I guess you are if you're a one foot jumper. We'll go single leg RDLs for this one, kind of sticking with, I guess, the isometric theme. Okay. <laughs> we can keep going. RDLs, I guess, stand for Romanian deadlift. So the, the play, with these is they, they work your hamstrings and glute areas, which are very important on the tennis court when pushing through for explosiveness as well as strength on like serve, forehand, backhand volleys. Um, so that's why we like to incorporate this a decent amount. So we'll start, see which we start. Um, so there's two ways you can do this. I personally, I'll show you which way I like more and the way <laughs> other people do it. So yeah. there's, there's one where it's like more of a balancing act. So you're here kind of leaning down and then up. Yeah. I personally, like to lead my foot kind of on here. Okay. Um, Cause I think, well, one, I think it's a little easier to balance, but also I feel the, I feel it a little more in my leg when I do it that way. So okay, I can start, you can choose, you can try both and choose okay. your leg, but <sighs> kind of the same theme, just going like slow down and then kind of popping up. I'm gonna start with this. Yeah. But you just like bounce. Yeah, the balancing's a little harder, right? Oh, that's gonna be tough. <laughs> Is that right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it looked right to me. I think the main thing like when you're doing this is you're trying not to put too much pressure on this foot. It's just like for balance. Okay. And then you want to keep a slight bend in your leg here. So don't want to push too forward. Okay. So kind of like staying maybe somewhere here and then leaning back. So it's like, it's called hinge. like a hinge movement. Hinge, okay. Yeah. I don't know, let's yeah. cut the weight. Do you want to cut, you want to the cut the weight a little bit and try it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get the Sometimes what helps me is thinking like, I'm leaning, as I'm moving forward, I'm just trying to lean a little back on it. Okay. So instead of like, cause I, I sometimes lose balance when I go here and lean too far forward. So I'm like, when I'm trying to hinge, I'm leaning slightly back. And as I'm doing that, I'm lifting this leg up. Okay. Kind of like that. There you go. That would look pretty good. All right. The balance is the tough part. That's huh? tough. That's tough. Yeah, right? <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. I mean, when I start, I couldn't do but it. But I feel it really in yeah, my butt. Yeah, kind yeah. <laughs> of Yeah, You see all the TikTok girls doing these ones too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. 
You gotta, you gotta follow Ishan. It's Ishan dot fit. Yeah, right? Ishan dot fit. So E S H A N and then dot fit. How about you? You got any Instagram or YouTube advice? This kind of like helps you grow your page and go through it. I would say just like being consistent and mm -hmm. posting stuff and like trying different stuff. If you look at some of my first videos and then like now I'm just so much better at editing and it's yeah. just like reps, just like with anything, like just the more reps you can get in, the better you're, you're gonna get at it. So that's fair. It's been, uh, that'd be my biggest advice. Those look really good. Yeah, nice. How about you, are there any pages you kind of like, like to, I don't know if look up to this right word, but like to follow along with maybe YouTube and Instagram for tennis stuff? Uh, yeah, my tennis HQ, it's like the GOAT for coaching stuff. Yeah. Um, for racket specs and like gear stuff, strings, uh, there's a page called Tencom, which I love. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Beckett for like, Match stuff, uh, Winston Do. It's like yeah, the guy. I've seen him a lot. He plays Dude. like a he, lot. He's a good player too. Good player, and he like he's not always playing. He'll like find good matchups, and like it's always fun to watch. Like you know, uh, like a top sophomore guy versus like a D one girl. Like totally. to see how that matches up. It's always mm -hmm. it's really interesting stuff. So for these, I like to go kind of like five in each direction. So it'll be five straight up like this. And then I like to turn my feet in inward and then explode because it hits a different part of your calf. It's a running joke on my team though because I've probably hit legs and done calves for, I don't know, maybe two, th three years now. And I actually think I've seen zero growth. So. <laughs> What would your best advice be for aspiring young tennis players? Like, young tennis players? what should they work on or what should, they, what should their main focus be? I guess it depends their goals. Um, so I can speak to mine personally, where I was always trying to go, I wasn't trying to be a professional tennis player, I wanted to be a college tennis player. Yeah. So doing everything I could for that would be obviously focusing on school because you have to be in a decent yeah. academic range for, for that, depending on your goals. But, but just kind of being willing to be like a little different and doing that little extra work. Uh, people talk about it, like I love listening to podcasts or watching different videos, like one being like Kobe Bryant, mm -hmm. of him like he wasn't going out to the clubs always. It was him like being up at five, 6 a.m. putting that extra work in, because I think that if I could go back, I'd be more consistent with it. Because like, you, for example, like your YouTube videos, like, yeah. like working out, like playing tennis, it's all about like the little bit, like chipping away at it. And then you see in a year, a year and a half, that's where you make the huge difference. So it's crazy how everyone realizes that later in life. I, like, dude, I if, if, we, I knew if that, we all knew that at like 14 years old, I, I would be so. I'm in it, and you know what? You know what I think it is. It's like I think it's the guys that get that at four, thir, 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 yeah, 13, 14 for sure. years old. I actually, have, this is actually a cool story. You guys like with the tennis pages. My teammate Elliot, um, he traveled like very good, one in the country right now yeah. in college. But he he always tells a story. He went and played a lot of the ITFs, which are like those international tournaments in the juniors. Yeah. And he said when he was there, he was traveling with his coach and he saw Alcaraz, like, because yeah, he's around our age and would do it. But Alcaraz was different. He was coming an hour early, two hours early to the site, doing a full dynamic warm up yeah. before everything, like completely professional, you know what I mean? Like, and then after, like after his match, sitting there at, at the facility, breaking it down with his coach, everything, like so focused. He's not like all the other kids, you know, maybe like crying after your match yeah. and I want to listen, you know? Like, and it was just so different because, I mean, there's a reason you see him on TV now. Like, it was that, like him, that you can see that story. Holger Rune, you can see that story. It's like all those guys that make it. So, I think you're right. Everyone <laughs> realizes it at I some know. point. You just hope it's not too late by the yeah. time you realize it. But. If you're a young tennis player, you still got time. <laughs> Tons still got of time. time. Some tib raises. Yeah, I mean, these are, I think, essential for all tennis players. Um, so, you can do these multiple ways. I do these body weight because I don't have... Uh, the, tib, the tib raise like machine. Sometimes, sometimes they have those, but these are so good if because you're playing so much on like a hard surface with tennis that I've been prone to getting shin splints, yeah. uh, both in both areas. So you can get it here, and then as well as inner. So I would get them more like here, 
and it would just be like brutal, it's like stepping pain, and I'm like, okay, I can't do this. So the best ways to do that are one, what we did with the calf raises, strengthen your calves, and then tip raises. And ever since I've started incorporating these, like over the past year, my, my pain's been really? pretty much gone. Um, like sometimes if I'm playing a ton of tennis, it'll act up, but so manageable now. So, so these are go-tos. I think, I, I wait, another thing I wish I knew, all junior tennis players. We all, there's a saying too, I joke with my friends, girls like big tibs. <laughs> <laughs> these burn. Right? I was not expecting these. Yeah, it's weird, right? Because this is just body weight too. We're not even putting Yeah, we're just lifting weight. your toes off the ground. <laughs> yeah. So these ones you can maybe shoot for like eight to 10 reps on them. Okay, is the focus like explode? Yeah, same type of deal. So kind of controlling the weight down and then exploding to the top on it. Nice. I think at the end when we do this plyometric movement, it'll be like, since our legs are kind of taxed, yeah, it's gonna it'll be, be, it'll be tough, but it'll still be kind of fun. So these ones, I feel like you see them a lot on like Instagram or YouTube, but the whole point is just kind of exploding. So we're set up like you're gonna do like a single leg kind of squat, and you're gonna go here, and then, okay. and we'll just go for six. Yeah, I think you're gonna see I'm way better at this side than I am on that side. Dude, this is gonna cook me. My yeah. legs are already tired. Yeah. This is a good kind of finisher. Nice. You got bounce, you got bounce. <laughs> Bunnies. <laughs> What would you say is like the most helpful thing to do on court uh -huh. for an amateur? Like if you have like an hour to play tennis and you want to get better, what are you, what are you doing? Are you playing with someone or are you playing like what's let's kind of what's go, Let's go. If you're alone, what are you doing? And if you have a partner, okay. what are you doing? So if you're alone, I'm figuring you're bringing a basket out. So I would combine Serving practice, super important, okay. so always do that. And I'd actually emphasize footwork. Okay. I think footwork's not emphasized enough. Um, all the best players I've seen, especially a lot of European tennis players, st always start with footwork. Okay. And because moving is the key to it. So I would spend time, there's a lot of different drills you can do, you can look them up online too, but spider drill's a really good one. Even just shadow swing, so practice like your side shuffle hitting this way. Because you're not, because you don't necessarily have someone to hit with. Right. So having those reps in, really important. So those two things I'd say for if you don't have someone. If you have someone, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Obviously, warm up and do like, I mean, make sure all good volleys, serves, overheads, all that. And then point play is always important, but I think set play is really important too. I think a lot of people you'll see will come out and like play points, which is good depending on the vibe of it. But all on the tour and what I've heard is a lot of people are just always playing practice sets. Because that's where you find out like where your true weaknesses are. Right. Like when you put the pressure on, like I think playing, this is kind of maybe a bold tip, but playing for something makes it really fun. So yeah. if with one of your boys or one of your friends, playing for like pegs or playing for yeah. like, you gotta like run or playing for just something crazy yeah. is like, it's, it's fun because you're like, okay, let's see where I'm actually getting nervous because you can stimu simulate like a right. tournament that way. So much higher on my left side, I feel like. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm flipped, I feel like. Well, that's all I had for the workout. I think we're both pretty tired. <laughs> all right, guys, that is a wrap. Go follow Ishan.fit on Instagram. Um, if you're a young tennis player or someone like me who's just gotten into tennis, want to work out, get the fitness up, follow this workout. It's a tough one. I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow. Any last words? Just, I don't know, thanks for having me out. Really enjoyed it. Um, if you guys do follow, I'm always happy to talk. Reach out to me, 
about any workout plans or even just tennis wise, love to chat about it, so. Yeah, let us know what you think. If you wanna see some upper body stuff, you can come back and do this again. Yeah. Uh, anyways, thank y'all for watching. Winners only. Peace.